Dear brothers and sisters, on this most sacred night in which our Lord Jesus Christ passed over from death to life, the Church calls upon her sons and daughters scattered throughout the world to come together to watch and pray. If we keep the memorial of the Lord's Paschal Solemnity in this way, listening to his word, celebrating his mysteries, then we shall have the sure hope of sharing his triumph over death and living with him in God. Let us pray. O God, who through your Son bestowed upon the faithful the fire of your glory, grant, we pray, that by these Paschal celebrations we may be so inflamed with heavenly desires that with minds made pure we may attain festivities of unending splendour. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The light of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. The light of Christ. Thanks be to God. Rejoice, heavenly powers, sing choirs of angels. Exalt all creation around God's throne. Jesus Christ our King is risen. Sound the trumpet of salvation. Rejoice, O earth in shining splendor, radiant in the brightness of your King. Christ has conquered, glory fills you. Darkness vanishes forever. Jesus Christ, our King, is risen. Sound the trumpet of salvation. Rejoice, O Mother Church, exult in glory. The risen Saviour shines upon you. Let this place resound with joy. Echoing the mighty song of all God's people. My dearest friends, standing with me in this holy light, join me in asking God for mercy, that he may give his unworthy minister grace to sing his Easter praises. The Lord be with you. And also with you, lift up your hearts, we lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God, it is right to give him thanks and praise. It is truly right that with full hearts and minds and voices, we should praise the unseen God, the all-powerful Father and his only Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. For Christ has ransomed us with his blood and paid for us the price of Adam's sin to our eternal Father. Jesus Christ, our King, is risen. 
Sound the trumpet of salvation. This is our Passover feast, when Christ the true Lamb is slain, whose blood consecrates the homes of all believers. This is the night when first you saved our fathers. You freed the people of Israel from their slavery and led them dry shod through the sea. This is the night when the pillar of fire destroyed the darkness of sin. This is the night when Christians everywhere washed clean of sin and freed from all defilement are restored to grace and grow together in holiness. This is the night when Jesus Christ broke the chains of death and rose triumphant from the grave. What good would life have been to us had Christ not come as our Redeemer? Father, how wonderful your care for us, how boundless your merciful love. To ransom a slave you gave away your son. O oh, happy fault, O oh, necessary sin of Adam which gained for us so great a Redeemer. Jesus Christ, our King, is risen. Sound the trumpet of salvation. Most blessed of all nights, chosen by God to see Christ rising from the dead. Of this night, Scripture says, the night will be as clear as day. It will become my light, my joy. The power of this holy night dispels all evil, washes guilt away, restores lost innocence, brings mourners joy. It casts out hatred, brings us peace, and humbles earthly pride. Night truly blessed when heaven is wedded to earth and man is reconciled with God. Therefore, Heavenly Father, in the joy of this night, receive our evening sacrifice of praise, your church's solemn offering. Accept this Easter candle, a flame divided but undimmed, a pillar of fire that glows to the honour of our God. Let it mingle with the lights of heaven and continue bravely burning to dispel the darkness of this night. May the morning star which never sets find this flame still burning. Christ the morning star who came back from the dead and shed his peaceful light on all mankind. Your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Dear brothers and sisters, now that we have begun our solemn vigil, let us listen with quiet hearts to the word of God. Let us meditate on how God in times past saved his people, and in these, the last days, he sent us his Son as our Redeemer. Let us pray that our God may complete this paschal work of salvation by the fullness of redemption. A reading from the book of Genesis. 
God said, Let us make man in our own image, in the likeness of ourselves, and let them be masters of fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, the cattle, all the wild beasts, and all the reptiles that crawl upon the earth. God created man in the image of himself. In the image of God he created him, male and female he created them. God blessed them, saying to them, Be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth and conquer it. Be masters of the fish of the sea, the birds of heaven, and all living animals on earth. God said, See, I give you all the seed-bearing plants that are upon the whole earth, and all the trees with seed-bearing fruit. This shall be your food. To all wild beasts, all birds of heaven, and all living reptiles on the earth, I give all the foliage of plants for food. And so it was. God saw all he had made, and indeed it was very good. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your Spirit and renew the face of the earth. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your Spirit, renew the face of the earth. Bless the Lord, my soul. Lord God, how great you are, clothed in majesty and glory, wrapped in light as in a robe. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your Spirit, renew the face of the earth. Come, Lord Jesus, Send us your Spirit, renew the face of the earth. You make springs gush forth in the valleys, they flow in between the hills. On their banks dwell the birds of heaven, from the branches they sing their song. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your Spirit, renew the face of the earth. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your Spirit, renew the face of the earth. How many are your works, O Lord? In wisdom you have made them all. The earth is full of your riches. Bless the Lord, my soul. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your Spirit, renew the face of the earth. Come, Lord Jesus, send us your Spirit, renew the face of the earth. Let us pray. Almighty ever-living God, who are wonderful in the ordering of all your works, may those you have redeemed understand that there exists nothing more marvellous than the world's creation in the beginning, except that At the end of the ages, Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. The Lord said to Moses, Why do you cry to me so? 
Tell the sons of Israel to march on. For yourself, raise your staff and stretch out your hand over the sea, and part it for the sons of Israel to walk through the sea on dry ground. I, for my part, I will make the heart of the Egyptians so stubborn that they will follow them. So shall I win myself glory at the expense of Pharaoh. Of all his army, his chariots, his horsemen. And when I have won glory for myself at the expense of Pharaoh and his chariots and his army, the Egyptians will learn that I am the Lord. Then the angel said, Then the angel of the Lord, who marched at the front of the army of Israel, changed station and moved to their rear. The pillar of cloud changed station from the front to the rear of them and remained there. It came between the camp of the Egyptians and the camp of Israel. The cloud was dark and the night passed without the armies drawing any closer the whole night long. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea. The Lord drove back the sea with a strong easterly wind all night, and he made dry land of the sea. The waters parted, and the sons of Israel went on dry ground right into the sea. Walls soaked water to the right and to the left of them. The Egyptians gave chase. After them they went right into the sea, and Pharaoh's horses, his chariots, and his horsemen. In the morning watch, the Lord looked down on the army of the Egyptians from the pillar of his fire and of cloud, and threw the army into confusion. He so clogged their chariot wheels that they could scarcely make headway. Let us pray from the dry lights. The Egyptians cried. The Lord is fighting for them against the Egyptians. Stretch out your hand over the sea. The Lord said to Moses that the waters may flow back on the Egyptians and their chariots and their horsemen. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea as they broke. The sea returned to its bed. The fleeing, the fleeing Egyptians marched right into it, and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the very middle of the sea. The returning waters overwhelmed the chariots and the horsemen of Pharaoh's Whose, whose whole army which had followed the Israelites into the sea. Not a single one of them was left. But the sons of Israel had marched through the sea on dry ground, walls of water to the right and to the left. That day, the Lord rescued Israel from the Egyptians. And Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the shore. Israel witnessed the great act of the Lord that he performed against the Egyptians. And the people venerated the Lord. They put their faith in the Lord and in Moses, his servant. It was then that Moses and the son of Israel sang the song in honor of the Lord. Be not afraid, I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you rest. I will sing to the Lord glorious His triumph. 
horse and rider he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength, my song, my salvation. This is my God, and I extol him, my Father's God, and I give him praise. Be not afraid, I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you rest. The Lord is a warrior, the Lord is his name. The chariots of peril he hurled into the sea. The flower of his army is drowned into the sea. The dips hide them, they sang like a stone. Be not afraid, I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you rest. Your right hand, Lord, glorious in its power. Your right hand, Lord, has shattered the enemy. In the greatness of your glory, you crush the foe. Be not afraid, I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you rest. You will lead them and plant them on the mountain, the place, O Lord, where you have made your home, the sanctuary, Lord, which your hands have made. The Lord will reign forever and ever. Be not afraid, I go before you always. Come, follow me, and I will give you rest. Let us pray. O God, who by the light of the New Testament have unlocked the meaning of wonders worked in former times, so that the Red Sea prefigures the sacred, sacred font and the nation delivered from slavery foreshadows the Christian people. Grant, we pray, that all nations obtaining the privilege of Israel by merit of faith may be reborn by partaking of your Spirit. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. A reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, O come to the water, all you who are thirsty. Though you have no money, come. Buy corn without money and eat, and at no cost wine and milk. Why spend money on what is not bread, your wages on what fails to satisfy? Listen, listen to me, and you will have good things to eat, and rich food to enjoy. Pay attention, come to me, listen, and your soul will live. With you I will make an everlasting covenant, out of the favours promised to David. See, I have made of you a witness to the peoples, a leader and a master of the nations. See, you will summon a nation you never knew. Those unknown will come hurrying to you for the sake of the Lord your God, of the Holy One of Israel, who will glorify you. Seek the Lord while he is still to be found. Call to him while he is still near. Let the wicked abandon their ways, and the evil their thoughts. Let them turn back to the Lord, who will take pity on them. 
to our God who is rich and forgiving, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, my ways are not your ways. It is the Lord who speaks. Yes, the heavens are as high above earth as my ways are above your ways, my thoughts above your thoughts. Yes, as the rain and the snow come down from the heavens and do not return without watering the earth, making it yield and giving growth to provide seed for the sower and bread for the eating. So the word that goes from my mouth does not return to me empty without carrying out my will and succeeding in what it was sent to do. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Come to the water, you who are thirsty, though you have nothing, I bid you come, and be filled with the goodness I have to offer. Come, listen, live. Why spend your money on what cannot fill the emptiness deep in your heart? Listen to my word and you will enjoy goodness and peace in your heart. Come to the water, you who are thirsty, though you have nothing, I bid you come and be filled with the goodness I have to offer. Come, listen, live. Just as the heavens are high above her, my ways and thoughts beyond you. Call me your Father and know I am near. I will be Father to you. Come to the water, you who are thirsty, though you have nothing, I bid you come and be filled with the goodness I have to offer. Come, listen, live. Just as the rain falls to water the earth, just as the seed becomes bread, my word upon you can never return until my longing is filled. Come to the water, you who are thirsty, though you have nothing, I bid you come and be filled with the goodness I have to offer. Come, listen, let us pray. Almighty ever living God, sole hope of the world, who by the preaching of your prophets unveiled the mysteries of this pre present age, graciously increase the longing of your people, for only at the prompting of your grace do the faithful progress in any kind of virtue. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. Glory to God, glory to God, glory to the Father. All praise and honor be given, all praise and honor be given. Alleluia, Amen, 
Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to Christ Jesus. Oh, praise and honor be given. Oh, praise and honor be given. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to the Spirit. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to the Spirit. Oh, praise and honor be given. Oh, praise and honor be given. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Alleluia, Amen. Let us pray. O God, who made this most sacred night radiant with the glory of the Lord's resurrection, stir up in your church a spirit of adoption, so that renewed in body and mind we may render you undivided service. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. You have been taught that when we were baptized in Christ Jesus, we were baptized in his death. In other words, when we were baptized, we went into the tomb with him and joined him in death, so that as Christ was raised from the dead by the Father's glory, we too might live a new life. If in union with Christ we have imitated his death, we shall also imitate him in his resurrection. We must realize that our former selves have been crucified with him to destroy this sinful body, to free us from the slavery of sin. When a man dies, of course, he has finished with sin. But we believe that having died with Christ, we shall return to life with Him. Christ, as we know, having been raised from the dead, will never die again. Death has no power on Him anymore. When He died, He died once for all to sin, so His life now is life with God. And in that way, you too must consider yourselves to be dead to sin, but alive for God in Christ Jesus. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia to the Lord, sing Alleluia to the Lord. Sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia, sing Alleluia to the Lord.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. After the Sabbath and towards dawn on the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala and, other, and the other Mary went to visit the sepulchre, and all at once there was a violent earthquake, for the angel of the Lord descended from heaven, came and rolled away the stone and sat on it. His face like, was like lightning, his robe white as stone. The guards were so shaken, so frightened of him, and they were like dead men. But the angel spoke, and he said to the women, There is no need for you to be afraid. I know you are looking for Jesus, who was crucified. He is not here, for he has risen. As he said he would, come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly and tell his disciples. He has risen from the dead, and now he is going before you to Galilee. It is there you will see him. Now I have told you, filled with awe and great joy, the women came quickly away from the tomb and ran to tell the disciples. And there coming to meet him was Jesus. Greetings, he said. And the women came up to him and falling down before him, clasped his feet. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go and tell my brothers that they must leave for Galilee. They will see me there. Brothers and sisters, the gospel of our salvation. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Welcome to the Easter Vigil. Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters. Pope John Paul II told us that this vigil is the mother of all vigils. This is not the usual Saturday vigil mass. On this holy night, the church keeps watch celebrating the resurrection of Christ in the sacraments and awaiting His glory. It is the turning point of the Triduum, the, Pas the Passover of the New Covenant, which marks Christ's passage from death to life. This vigil has four parts. The service of life, the liturgy of the word, the liturgy of the baptism, and the liturgy of the Eucharist. In the first part, the service of light, we light the Paschal candle. In normal circumstances, we do it in the big church, and you will also light your own candles. The meaning of this service of light is, we are children of light. We are not children of darkness. Second, the liturgy of the word. In normal circumstances, we have nine readings from the scriptures, but we read now only few of them. Many or all of these readings are all about the history of salvation. These readings are testaments, concrete stories of God's saving act. These are testaments, 
that God delivers. That what that when God promises, He delivers. The scriptures are concrete testaments that God fulfills His promise. In the third part, the liturgy of the baptism. As we renew our baptismal promises, we remind ourselves of our identity, of who we are. Brothers and sisters, we are children of God. We are the body of Christ. We are the church. You and I, we are children of God. That is the meaning of the liturgy of baptism, which we will renew tonight. Lastly, the liturgy of the Eucharist. In the liturgy of the Eucharist, when we share the bread, when we share the body of Christ, we are continually being strengthened and transformed by the Lord's presence. Tonight's celebration becomes ever more relevant compared to ordinary circumstances. In the midst of this pandemic, tonight we are told, Kihakaha, to those who are in darkness, after long moments of darkness, light will unfold. You will see light, for you are children of God. You are children of light. Kiyakaha, to those who begin to doubt, God will deliver. God fulfills what He has promised. Kiyakaha to those in isolation. You are a child of God. And finally, Kiyakaha to those who was nothing but faith. God sustains. God strengthens. God will provide. Kiyakaha, children of the resurrection, do not fear. Jesus is alive. Dear brothers and sisters, let us humbly beseech the Lord our God to bless this water he has created, which will be sprinkled upon us as a memorial of our baptism. May he graciously renew us that we may remain faithful to the Spirit whom we have received. Lord our God, in your mercy be present to your people, who keep vigil on this most sacred night. And for us who recall the wondrous work of our creation and the still greater work of our redemption, graciously bless this water 
For you created water to make the fields fruitful and to refresh and cleanse our bodies. You also made water the instrument of your mercy. For through water you freed your people from slavery and quenched their thirst in the desert. Through water the prophets proclaimed the new covenant you were to enter upon with the human race. And last of all, through water, which Christ made holy in the Jordan, you have renewed our corrupted nature in the bath of regeneration. Therefore, may this water be for us a memorial of the baptism we have received, and grant that we may share in the gladness of our brothers and sisters who at Easter have received their baptism. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Dear brothers and sisters, through the Paschal Mystery, we have been buried with Christ in baptism, so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism, by which we once renounce Satan and his works, and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. So I invite you now to um, take a candle and light that candle and we're going to renew our baptismal promises. So the answer to these questions are very simple, aren't they? It's like a marriage vow. Simply the answer is, I do. Do you renounce sin so as to live in the freedom of the children of God? I do. Do you renounce the lure of evil so that sin may have no mastery over you? I do. Do you renounce Satan, the author and prince of sin? I do. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, Creator of heaven and earth. I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried, rose again from the dead, and is seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by his grace in Christ Jesus our Lord for eternal life. Amen. Amen. Come to the water, you who are thirsty. Though you have nothing, I bid you come And be filled with the goodness I have to offer Come, listen, Lou Why spend your money on what cannot do The emptiness deep in your heart Listen to my word and you will enjoy Goodness and peace in your heart. Come to the water, you who are thirsty. Though you have nothing, I bid you come. And be filled with the goodness I have to offer. Come, listen, Luke.
Let us pray to God, who rescued his beloved Son from the darkness of death and brought him into the light of glory. In our response this evening to our prayers of the faithful, Lord, hear us in your love. Lord, Lord hear, us hear us in your love. love. For all Christians, that they may experience the joy of Christ's victory over death. Lord, hear we us pray Lord. in faith. Lord, hear, hear us hear in your love. love. For all government leaders, that Christ's victory over evil may encourage them in their work for justice and peace. We pray in faith. Lord, Lord hear, hear us in your love. love. For those who have no faith in the afterlife, that the joy of this great day may be felt by them too. We pray in faith. Lord, Lord hear, hear us in your love. love. For each other, that we may be able to overcome our fear of death, since Christ underwent it and overcame it for us. We pray in faith. Lord, hear us in your love. For our deceased relatives and friends and all the faithful departed, that they may share in the risen life of Christ. We pray in faith. Lord, Lord hear, hear us, us in your love. love. Let us pray also for all those who suffer the consequences of the current pandemic that God, the Father, may grant health to the sick, strength to, to those who care for them, comfort to families, and salvation to all the victims who have died. Almighty ever-living God, only support of our human weakness, look with compassion upon the sorrowful condition of your children who suffer because of this pandemic. Relieve the pain of the sick. Give strength to those who care for them. Welcome into your peace those who have died. And throughout this time of tribulation, grant that we may all find comfort in your merciful love. We pray in faith. Lord, Lord hear, hear us in your Lord. love. For our own special needs, we pray in silence. We pray in faith. Lord, Lord hear, hear us, us in your Lord. love. God our Father, the power of this day drives away all evil, washes away all guilt, restores lost innocence, brings joy to those who mourn, casts out hatred, brings peace, and humbles earthly pride. May we experience its power in our lives and in our world. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, be spread, we offer fruit of the earth. Work of our hands, it will become the bread of life. Blessed be God. Blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen.
Bless thy Lord God of all creation. Thanks to your goodness, this wine we offer, fruit of the vine, work of our hands. It will become the cup of joy. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Blessed be God, blessed be God, blessed be God forever. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the, the praise and, and glory of his name for our, our good, good and good of all his holy church. Accept, we ask, O Lord, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings, that what has begun in the Paschal Mysteries may, by the working of your power, Bring us to the healing of eternity. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this night, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb, who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, blessed is he, who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. To you, therefore, most merciful Father, we make humble prayer and petition through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, that you accept and bless these gifts these offerings, these holy and unblemished sacrifices, which we offer you firstly for your holy Catholic Church. Be pleased to grant her peace, to guard, unite and govern her throughout the whole world, together with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Stephen our Bishop, and all those who, holding to the truth, hand on the Catholic and apostolic faith. Remember, Lord, your servants, and all gathered here, whose faith and devotion are known to you. For them we offer you the sacrifice of praise, or they offer it for themselves and all who are dear to them, for the redemption of their souls, in hope of health and well-being, and paying their homage to you, the eternal God, living and true. Celebrating the most sacred night of the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ in the flesh and in communion with those whose memory we venerate, especially the glorious ever-Virgin Mary, Mother of our God and Lord Jesus Christ, and blessed Joseph, her spouse, your blessed apostles and martyrs, Peter and Paul, Andrew, James, John, Thomas, James, Philip, Bartholomew, Matthew, Simon and Jude, 
Linus, Cletus, Clement, Sextus, Cornelius, Cyprian, Lawrence, Chrysogenus, John and Paul, Cosmas and Damien, and all your saints, we ask that through their merits and prayers in all things we may be defended by your protecting help. Therefore, Lord, we pray, graciously accept this oblation of our service, that of your whole family, which we make to you, also for those to whom you have been pleased to give the new birth of water and the Holy Spirit. Grant them forgiveness for their sins. Order our days in your peace, and command that we be delivered from eternal damnation, and counted among the flock of those you have chosen. Be pleased, O God, we pray, to bless, acknowledge, and approve this offering in every respect. Make it spiritual and acceptable, so that it may become for us the body and blood of your most beloved Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, he took bread in his holy and venerable, venerable hands, and with eyes raised to heaven to you, O God, his almighty Father, giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took this precious chalice in his holy and venerable hands, and once more giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Saviour of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the Blessed Passion, the resurrection from the dead, and the glorious ascension into heaven of Christ your Son, our Lord, we, your servants and your holy people, offer to your glorious majesty from the gifts that you have given us, this pure victim, this holy victim, this spotless victim, the holy bread of eternal life and the chalice of everlasting salvation. Be pleased to look upon these offerings with a serene and kindly countenance and to accept them as once you were pleased to accept the gifts of your servant Abel the just, the sacrifice of Abraham, our father in faith, and the offering of your high priest Melchizedek, a holy sacrifice, a spotless victim. In humble prayer we ask you, Almighty God, command that these gifts be borne by the hands of your holy angel to your altar on high, in the sight of your divine majesty, so that all of us who through this participation at the altar, receive the most holy body and blood of your Son, may be filled with every grace and heavenly blessing. Remember also, Lord, your servants, who have gone before us with the sign of faith and rest in the sleep of peace. Grant them, O Lord, we pray, and all who sleep in Christ, a place of refreshment, light, and peace. 
To us also your servants who, though sinners, hope in your abundant mercies, graciously grant some share in the fellowship with your holy apostles and martyrs, with John the Baptist, Stephen, Matthias, Barnabas, Ignatius, Alexander, Marcellinus, Peter, Felicity, Perpetua, Agathe, Lucy, Agnes, Cecilia, Anastasia, and all your saints, admit us, we beseech you, into their company, not weighing our merits, but granting us your pardon, through Christ our Lord, through whom you continue to make all these good things, O Lord. You sanctify them, fill them with life, bless them, and bestow them upon us. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honour is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Saviour's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace on our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the The glory glory are yours, now now and and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of Christ keep us safe for eternal life. Amen.
ubi caritas et amor, ubi caritas Deus ibi es, ubi caritas et amor, ubi caritas Deus ibi Let us pray. <clears throat> Pour out on us, O Lord, the spirit of your love, and in your kindness make those you have nourished by this Paschal Sacrament one in mind and heart. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Now we have come to the end of our Vigil celebration, the mother of all vigils. Thank you to Father Arnold for your words this evening, explaining to us the beauty of this vigil liturgy this evening. And on behalf of Father Arnold and myself, I wish you all a happy Easter. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Awake from your slumber, arise from your sleep. A new day is dawning for all those who weep. The people in darkness have seen a great light. The Lord of our longing has conquered the night. Let us build the city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing. For the Lord, our light and our love, has turned the night into day. We are sons of the morning, we are daughters of day. The one who has loved us has brightened our way. The Lord of all kindness has called us to be a light for his people to set their hearts free. Let us build the city of God May our tears be turned into dancing For the Lord, the light and our love Has turned our night into day God is light In Him there is no darkness Let us walk in His light His children one and all O oh, comfort my people, make gentle your words, proclaim to my city the day of her birth. Let us build the city of God, may our tears be turned into dancing, for the Lord our light and our love has turned the night into day. O city of gladness, now lift up your voice, proclaim with the good tidings that all may rejoice. 
Let us build the city of God. May our tears be turned into dancing. For the Lord our light and our love has turned the night into day.